Hey, Sage Creek, let's talk about what's going on in the real estate market for March 2024. We're going to talk about how many sales, how many active listings there are, the MOI, which is months of inventory, and what that means to the value of your home and uh, what the average price is, as well as days on the market. We're going to also compare what did it look like compared to 2023 numbers. Now, if we take a look at March, before, before I get into that, um, just want to let you know all the data is for single residential detached homes, and it is from MLS. I'm Stephen Olin at Remax Performance Realty, and all this, uh, all this information is my own information and not the opinion of Remax. So anyways, we look to take a look at sales. There were 10 listings on the media, uh, or 10 sales that sold out of the list. And active listings, there were 36. MOI is 3.6. So zero to four months is a seller's market. Four to six months is a balanced market. Beyond six months is a buyer's market. And I'll caution you that even with these numbers, this is including new builds. And there are quite a few new builds in the Sage Creek area. So that usually bumps up your, um, your numbers. And even with those numbers, we're still showing a very decent seller's market. Average selling price of the 10 homes that sold, 666000 You see the previous two months, a couple more expensive homes, 717 was the average, 756 And if you take a look at it, it's quite a bit up from last year's number. Right now, we're sitting at an average of about 713 of the uh, 17 homes that sold. Uh, you know, Whereas if you took a look at that, we wouldn't be anywhere that high right now. Seen in other areas of the city too as well that don't have necessarily have the new build uh, that uh, the Sage Creek does, that very low seller's market inventory is low. Um, there's lots of buyers that are thinking right now too. They've been looking at that Bank of Canada rate and holding off on that. And I'm seeing cautioning people like, and if you're a buyer, now's the time. Because as soon as that Bank of Canada rate drops even 0.25, it's going to set a bit of a frenzy off. And we will see even larger multiple offers than we're seeing right now. Um, the next thing is that banks have already started lowering their five-year fixed terms. Right now, I got uh, from one mortgage specialist, 4.84 was a number on a five-year fixed term for a qualified buyer, whereas you know, six, seven months ago, that wasn't the case. It was considerably higher. So reach out to us with any real estate-related questions. If you're a buyer, if you're a seller, we'll dive deep into the type of house you're looking to sell, you're looking to buy, and we can figure out exactly what the market value should be so you know what you can expect to be paying for the house, what you should expect to sell for it, how long it should take, all that information. Let's dive deep into it. And if you have any real estate related questions, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day.